Hi everyone, so I mentioned a couple of days ago that I was going to do my autumn winter fashion must haves video but I'm still waiting on a couple of items that I want to feature in that video so this video is going to be all about how to pick the perfect winter coat if you are pear shaped. Now for those of you who don't know, pear shaped just means that you carry the majority of your weight on your lower half, so on your thigh and bum area and it can be a little bit tricky to dress especially with coats because they're something that kind of tend to pad you out anyway but obviously it's very important to get a coat that's not just nice looking but also keeps you really warm. So the first coat I've got here is just a classic black coat which I think everyone needs. They're just a great kind of winter staple. This one right here is from New Look a couple of years ago. And what I like about this one is it's got quite a thick collar, it's buttoned all the way down and then it's got this lovely detailing on the pockets, it's kind of ruched on the pocket area. Now I don't know how well you can actually see this because it's black and black's always a little bit difficult to show on camera. But it's long, it hits you kind of just above your knee area which is really great if you're short because it kind of is a really flattering length. And it's very, very, very warm, which again is really <laughs> important. But because of the padding it has in the shoulders and the just kind of little bit of gentle ruching, it evens you out a little bit more. And as I said in my pear shaped video, which I'll link below, it makes you look a little bit more hourglass shaped as opposed to pear shaped, which is something that I think you do want to try and emphasize a little bit more. The next coat I've got is a fur coat and fur coats are really really great if you're pear shaped because what they do is they add bulk to your upper half which means they balance out your upper half and your lower half. This one right here is just from a random shop that I got when I was abroad so I'm not sure where this was from but Topshop do lovely ones like this every winter and I've seen a couple of really nice ones in Next as well. But this one is just a kind of mid-length one, it's not very long, it sits kind of just below your hips and it's this kind of gorgeous kind of multi colour um, and the collar on this is quite thick so it's kind of very luxurious, very warm, very comfortable and fur can be a little bit tricky to wear I think. Um, for example I'd never wear fur and red lipstick together but if you wear it correctly it can look amazing. If you dress it down I think they look lovely and they just really help to kind of balance out your upper body with your lower body. So a fur coat is a really great investment and obviously fake fur, we're not condoning using real fur in any way, shape or form, Form. this is um, a fake fur coat. The next one I've got is a really, really interesting kind of coat and this one is from Zara but it's quite old, it's a couple of years old and the colour of this is beautiful, A. Eh? it's a grey colour so it's a little bit different to kind of your traditional black coats. And what I love about this is the shape of the top part. So this part can kind of double as a big hood, kind of like a very Iman style hood. But once you fold it down, it just creates this beautiful, beautiful silhouette on your shoulders. Very similar to a coat that I think Angelina Jolie wore in that film with Johnny Depp called The Tourist. Very similar to that, it creates a beautiful, beautiful silhouette. It's just got kind of straight sleeves. It's a very thick, sturdy material. You can belt it in at the waist. It isn't gathered at the waist. It's just kind of got a more straight shape and it's longer than the black coat that I mentioned. But again, it's a really, really lovely staple but it's just a little bit different because of the detailing you get on your shoulder area it's just a bit different and it kind of creates this really luxurious look it looks amazing if you wear this with high heeled boots and a dark lip it looks fantastic then the next one that I've got is a really really lovely coat and this is from Romwe and this is my newest edition and this is a beautiful beautiful dark blue coat and it's got this lovely gold embellishment on it so it's kind of got a little bit of a military style going on and every time I lift something for the camera it makes the lighting go really pale but not much I can do about that. It's got this gorgeous kind of military detailing so you could button it up like that which looks really amazing and it's got a slight flare on the sleeve area so again it broadens out your shoulders which makes your hips and shoulders look a little bit more in proportion which is something that we want but also, it really nips you in at the waist and then flares right out. So this kind of hits you mid-thigh area. It's not the most flattering length, but um, it's, 
it's a kind of it's an okay length if that makes sense and it hits you just in the right spot and it really nips you in at the waist and because of all the detailing you've got on the front part it draws the eye upwards which as I said is something that you really want to do if you're pear shaped because you're kind of taking the attention away from your problem areas so this one is really really lovely I'm not sure if they've still got it on the website I'll try and link it below if they have but I love this coat I think it's very Kate middleton -y as well it's gorgeous then I've got just your classic kind of trench coat and this one is from Zara I got this a couple of years ago and this is just your classic trench coat now these aren't particularly warm but these are very very versatile and very easy to wear if you are just wearing something that's not like a very very thick jumper maybe you're just wearing a plain top and jeans and you just want something that'll smarten up an outfit keep it warm but keep it still quite casual this is a really really great item to do that with um, you can get these from anywhere you can get them in any color you want obviously the kind of ideal one would be the Burberry one but who's got that kind of money definitely not me anyway but um this one right here has just got a lot of button detailing it's quite a straight fit but it does really flatter your shape especially if you're quite petite like I am because it just kind of evens you out in a way and it's kind of quite a light fabric so it's great for traveling it's great if you just want to kind of carry something along with you and you don't want to have a really big bulky coat to carry around this is a really nice option and then last but not least this isn't actually mine this is my sister's and she left it at my house so I am going to mention this and this is your leather jacket now I know that these aren't the warmest items and that they're not really kind of your classic winter coat if that makes sense but I wanted to mention this because this one right here is from New Look but a couple of years ago it's quite an old jacket and this is just a kind of classic biker style jacket really it's brown it's got this kind of um, material on the sleeves and then the leather in between kind of satiny insides but these actually look really really good if you are a pear shape and have a very slim top because what these do is they kind of suck everything in and they just make your top half appear really really slim which is something that's really nice to accentuate and they are quite warm and they're very easy to style and they're a great option if you like something that's a little bit more a little less dressy a little bit more casual if you're someone who's style kind of consists of all stars and jeans and t-shirts this is a great investment piece because you will get a lot of wear out of, it, out of it it keeps you warm and it kind of flatters your shape as well and you won't feel too overdressed and it's very easy to kind of layer jumpers underneath it but just make sure that you know you get maybe a size up than you normally would if you want to lay a thick knitwear underneath it and it looks great with scarves and that kind of thing it isn't my personal choice just because I'm not really a fan of leather and I'm not really a fan of brown either but this is a great option if you do like that kind of thing so I think I've covered the majority of styles that are out there in this video and I hope some of you found this helpful. As I said I will be doing a video about my top autumn winter fashion must haves which I'm really excited about because I'm really loving clothes at the moment. So I will be doing that, hopefully that should be up sometime next week. But I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.